mouse pad project, you're going to need a piece of plexiglass. I found a piece in my garage that's about 12 inches square. If you have to buy one, it shouldn't cost you more than a couple of bucks. And you'll want it to be at least a quarter inch or about six millimeters in thickness. The thicker, the better. Then using a straight edge and a sharpie, mark off the size you want. Mine's about the plexiglass with my band saw. Now you can use a handheld saw or a sharp blade and score it and snap it, although that's a little bit more difficult. And then I'll be using my Dremel for the majority of the cutting. Again, you can use handheld tools for this if you don't have a Dremel. I rounded off the edges, give it a nice clean finish, and sanded it as well. Then using the sharpie again, I made a mark in the middle and drew a line down a little bit and then off to both sides. Again, the Dremel with a cutting tool will cut a groove into the marks I made. Your wires are going to rest inside these grooves. You don't want to cut all the way through, just deep enough for the wires you'll be using. Once the main grooves are cut, I used another attachment to hollow out two areas where the LEDs will rest. And speaking of LEDs, I'll be using two blue high-power LEDs. I got them online for about a buck a piece. You could use any color, but you'll probably want to stick to 5 millimeter size LEDs. And you may even have to sand both sides of the LEDs down to fit in the little pockets we cut. Then you'll need a USB cable. This is a USB A to B, normally used for printers, and we'll be using the A side, so I snipped the B connector off. You'll need to find the smallest diameter wires as possible, and we're going to solder two on the red or positive wire and two on the black or negative wire on the USB cable. Once your two LEDs are soldered on the other ends of those wires, it's time to lay everything down in the groove, and I'm using hot glue to hold them in place. You can also use black electrical tape, and I laid in the two LEDs in their cozy little pockets and also hot glued them in place. And the finishing touch is a design you're going to put over your mouse pad. Now I use the circuit board that's part of my YouTube background and I printed it on some matte finish photo paper. That's going to go over all of our wiring and our LEDs. So we'll lay it under our mouse pad, trace around it, and cut it out. Then I use some spray adhesive to attach it to the plexiglass. Plug the USB cable in and our glowing mouse pad is finished. Believe me, it looks even more impressive in person. It doesn't quite capture the good glow on video. A couple of things you can do with this project would be to add an inline switch so you could turn the glowing mouse pad on and off and maybe a clear laminating sheet to protect your printed surface. And there you have it, the $5 glowing mouse pad. To check out my channel with more projects, click the box on the left. And to see my other LED projects, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.